Who the hell installed all this extra crap? The hell? Security, trailer brake. Oh, crap. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I do have no mic hooked up right now. So, y'all probably getting a lot of wind noise. So, this Texas weather is not cooperating today. It's being a pain in the ass. Today, I'm going to be installing this radio in this truck, which is a 1993 Chevy C1500 Silverado trim. Should be a straightforward drive until you ride the square dash. I mean, it's going to be a pain in the ass. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. decided to do the smartest thing ever not really which is decide to separate the radio units which isn't too too bad if you think about it what makes it get bad is you have to delete some stuff under here so you're gonna need a uh, tools you will need up on the screen somewhere seven millimeter probably uh, some torx heads I don't remember the size the dash kit which as you see, I'll have a dark blue interior. My dash thing that's on here is like blue. Anyways, you're going to need this. Very important. Even though the radio I have will fit in there, you want the dash kit. You're going to want the wiring harness, which we do not have. Because we are going to uh, just snip and do stuff. But y'all are going to want the wiring harness. Alright. And you're going to want this if you want in the little storage pocket. Now... The one I got does not have a lip, so stuff will fall out of there, which is, you know, no big deal. Well, yeah, it is a big deal. With stuff I'm going to be keeping in there isn't going to be much important stuff. Now, on to the radio I got. We'll cut back. All right, guys, so we have we have a uh, dual car audio thing. It's 200 watts, $16 stereo. It's pushing our 410s. That's in the hook very well, so we got another one for this one. We bought two yesterday, and we did the hook yesterday. The hook is a 96 and it's a round dash, so it's a lot easier to do the install versus a 93, which is square dash. So let's show you all what the stereo looks like. Wires. This is not your wire kit, guys. That's right here. Not your wire kit. Please. Just get the wire kit. Alright, show those over there. And the important thing, the radio. Please. Fucking pile those, get those out of here. I'll pick it up there. Alright, so as you see, it's a cheap little radio. Let's go ahead and get it out of plastic and uh see what it looks like. Alright, so the radio's right here. Small Bluetooth radio stuff. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is verify it fits in my dash kit. It does fit, it is a little loose, but that's fine. It fits relatively good in the dash kit. Now I'm going to hold this straight. Make sure my, I can clip it. If I can. Boom, boom. Alright. That's the first thing. It does fit my dash kit. So let's go ahead and um, move y'all up on in. Where y'all can actually get a better view of what we need to work on. And uh, start removing stuff. Removal process. Let's get to it. Alright. So this is what you're going to need to remove. Now to... This is just where this panel that where the stereo is going to go. Um, simple, quite simple. I'm going to go grab some tools and get y'all in a better angle. And, uh, yeah. All right, we're back. Y'all are in the still same spot because I just don't want to move y'all yet because my truck's still full. So I got a flathead screwdriver because you're going to need that. I don't have my bit thing. I also have an impact driver, which is going to help me take the stuff off. Yes, you can use a uh, screw, a regular old ratchet and stuff, but... You're just going to want to come in here, kind of like that, pop it off, and then kind of do the same on the other side. Uh, not try to break too many clips. Alright, there we go. And boom, just like that, it's out. Now, 
don't just go ahead and don't chunk this yet. Alright, don't chunk, don't chunk this yet. You are still going to need it. So it looks to me like I have one thing that actually broke. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out. It's right up in here. Yeah. I know. Okay. So we got that out. That isn't going to be needed. But, ah, okay. So there's going to be a little um, chart in here. I'm going to keep this just so that way I have that chart. But don't chunk this thing yet because you're going to need to pull off some clips off of it and your air vents. Okay, so um, what this looks like, this is two 7mm you're going to need to pull out. Let me set my phone up where it goes. Alright, so it's going to be two 7mm, one here, one here, and, and one Phillips. And that's going to release this to where you can pull this unit out. Now, um, we're going to stop on this and we're going to go ahead and take a look at down there and unplug and take down that um, control module. And I'll be back with a second pair of hands as well, if y'all know them as pops. And by the way, blue time of getting some mods. Alright, so we're on a dash. You're going to need to take a panel out. Um, let me go ahead and kind of let y'all see what you need to take out. In there, there's going to be, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's going to be some type of control panel. I'm tired of stuff knocking off my door. Try to play. But you're going to need to take that out. If I'm not mistaken, it's a 7 millimeter, And I'm going to get it out. Who the hell is on all this extra crap? The hell? Security, trailer break. Oh, crap. Now, there's going to be three bolts holding on. Simple thing. There's one bolt that is not a 7mm. So, I removed some excess bolts that did not need to be removed. So, I'm going to set those back real quick. Because they are important bolts. Remove this. That's easy enough. I'm just going to unclip this wire. Boom. And pull this one out. And the old tape deck has now been uninstalled. Two. You pull the dash. Four bit heads. You can pull that out. But make sure you put this in gear. And the... Y'all can't see. Yeah, in the lowest setting, which he will do. Pull that out. Take the wiring out. And then you got to get antenna adapters, which I did not realize. You will need to pull the AC thing just barely out. Just so that way you can pull this one, get to the last screw to pull that radio unit out. Now, if you're not putting a uh, storage thing in there like we are, then you don't need to do this step and you can completely skip this step. But we are putting the storage thing in there, so you will need to, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, just to transfer everything over, you remove two clips, and then there's going to be some clips holding these AC vents in. Very simple. Yep, I'm getting my fat boy on. Yeah, we're, we're eating some chicken express, who cares. Remove these clips. Y'all see the fun I'm having? Wiring, if they could see it, I'm not sure. But... Okay, I'm going to have to pop these off. Okay. That's going to be fun. Okay. There goes that one. And... There goes that one. And just like that, you got that clip. Then you got to transfer it over here. So it just snaps right back in with a little bit of pressure and boom you keep the same thing and then you, know, you just remove these clips right here for the AC vent and then you just transfer everything over and there goes your new thing and he's doing the wiring and we'll test the speakers and see if they work when we get the radio so right now what we're doing is he's wiring up the um, harness because we did go to town and buy a harness because we need to go into town and get a antenna deal and kind of didn't want to cut and splice it because it was so far back so he got so we got a harness 
and he's wiring that up. I'm going to be able to plug everything in. And hopefully plug everything in, test the radio, make sure everything works. Hopefully the speaker works. That would be a whole nother day. Mm -hmm. We ain't replacing this today. Not probably not even this. Well, I could say this month because today's the last day of January. Yeah, um, progress, yes, uh, yeah, we'll get it up. Which, if you haven't already checked out the merch or joined or checked out Patreon or anything, go check that out. Links in the description, and also don't forget to subscribe for crazy bills because this is not a normal video. We normally don't do tech stuff, we normally do stupid stuff. Something ain't hooked up right. No, this is hooked up right. You have a diagram of what your wife yeah. is for this, and you have a diagram on that. It, you can't misdo them when you do them. Well, it's not working. We probably don't have a fuse for radio. Have you checked your Yes, fuse? Well, I already did that when we had the original radio, and it did have a fuse, in fact. Mm -hmm. This can suck donkey dick. <laughs> Well, guys, after some messing around, we did get it to somehow turn on. Dad, would you lift that up some? No, not test like the actual radio. Yeah. And it's blue, so it matches my truck. This is 10. Oh, what's that? All right, so um, the radio is installed. It's worked out pretty good. So it looks pretty good. I'll show y'all in a little bit, but I want to go ahead uh, before I tell y'all. Don't forget you can go check out our merch. We'll be, um, we'll be dropping some new merch soon. I am waiting until I get three sales of my current merch to uh, design the new one. I don't know. That may change. <laughs> um, I do have a big new video coming tomorrow for y'all. Yes, you heard me right. Tomorrow. That's going to be weird, but uh, I'll explain. You always have to wait unless, you're on, unless you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Then you already know. Because the game ends today. Uh, I do want to go ahead and thank radios in. Um, we did find out I have four bad speakers. Now, when I, I, I'm saying bad speakers because they are beyond blown. Guys, let me verify something real quick. Alright, we're back. Alright, we're back. Um, they are beyond blown. Now, when I say beyond blown, I mean simple as, uh, you know how, alright, so a blown speaker will really, if you have to be, a blown speaker will still play some noise, some yeah, static and crap. These speakers don't play crap. Not even air. I mean, it's dead solid. So we have four bad speakers. We test it by hooking up some simple radio speaker. It works. So we have a temporary speaker in there right now. Just one um, 6x9, which I will be going with two 6x9s under the back seat. They're not subs, just because there's four by sixes in the back right now and I don't want to take that back trim panel off to replace those speakers. So I'm just going to go the easy way out. It's quicker and easier on me. Then we're going to new speakers in the front. That will be a whole nother video. But let me go ahead and pop y'all up and let's show y'all what the inside looks like. <clears throat> Alright, so we're in the truck. I mean, just kind of Y'all gonna be sideways, as y'all can see. The radio's right there. Oh man, guys! So radio's right there, and we'll be right back. All right, so yeah, the radio's right there, guys. Uh, that's pretty cool, honestly. I really like it. I got the box set. That's gonna conclude this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to go check out the Patreon membership if you haven't already and join the membership for early access. The Patreon got to see what we're doing to this truck the day we started it, which was three days ago. So, make sure you go join Patreon, get you some merch, and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Big things coming. I gotta start recording it.